Hello and welcome to another video by www.electricalpereview.com. Today's episode, we've got an example on fault current analysis. We're tasked with finding the current flowing through the short circuit located at this fault down here. We're going to solve it using two different methods, using the standard per unit method and using something that we find a little more intuitive, the MVA method. So to start out, we're given a utility, we assume infinite bus, and it has 55 MVA to fault duty. We've got a 1.5 MVA transformer. It's a 13.8 kV step down to 480 volts, and the transformer impedance is 5%. So let's find the fault. First thing, using the per unit method, we're going to select a base of 55 MVA for, for S base. Next, we're going to convert all of our values into per units, so we're going to start with our transformer. Our transformer's power duty and per unit is going to equal our transformer value, which is 1.5 MVA, divided by its impedance, which is 0 0.05. Next, we're going to use the base up here we selected. We're going to divide the value we get by 55 MVA. This comes out to a transformer fault duty of 0 0.5454 per unit. Next, our utility Duty is going to be equal to 1 per unit. Since we're taking our 55 MVA value and dividing it by the base, we already selected a 55 MVA. Next thing we do, we have to add these together. Anytime we're dealing with short circuit calculations, our complex power values are always going to be the sum of the reciprocals in series and then they're going to just add normally in parallel. So since we've got our utility up here and our transformer, these are in series, we're actually going to add the, the inverse of the reciprocal sums. So typically we'll use a shorthand notation that looks something like this, 5, 4, 5, 4 per unit times 1 per unit. And again, this is just a sign that says we're going to add the reciprocal of the reciprocal sums. So S is going to equal 1 over 1 over 0 0.5454 plus the reciprocal of 1 per unit, which is also 1. We can solve this as 0 0.35 Two nine per unit. If we want to find the actual value of that, we're going to multiply by our base that we selected as 55 MVA. And this gives us a total fault power of 19.41 MVA. Now to find our current actually flowing through the fault, we know that our current is equal to S over square root 3 times our line voltage. So this is going to equal 19.41 MVA divided by square root 3 times 480 volts. This is going to give us a total current of 22.35 Ka, or 22,000 amps. Now, if we want to do it the more intuitive way, we can check our work. Without using per units and base values, we're going to find our total transformer let through power, or our transformer duty, And that's going to be equal to the transformer's power rating of 1.5 MVA divided by its impedance, 0 
which gives us 30 MVA, which is just like we did up top here, except this time we're not converting it to per unit, so we're ignoring this part. And then next, we already know our utility duty. is going to be equal to 55 MVA. And again, since these two are in series, we're actually, at, we're actually going to add them together using the same method of adding resistance in parallel, which is the reciprocal of the reciprocal sums. So we know our S, our complex power of our fault, is going to be 55 MVA in parallel with 30 MVA. Another easier way to carry this out, we're going to do it this time below. I didn't do it over here just to make sure everyone was following along, but a much easier way to carry this out is you actually first multiply the two terms. So 55 MVA times 30 MVA and then you divide by the sums. So 55 MVA plus 30 MVA. Now let's do our math. This should equal the same value we got down here, our actual power at that fault. So we punch in the numbers in our calculator and we get, yep, 19.41 MVA. And then to find the actual current flowing through the fault in this direction right here, we do the same like we did when you were using per unit. Since S equals VI, we can solve for I by dividing by V. So I is going to equal 19.41 MVA divided by square root 3 times our line voltage of 480 volts. And of course, we get the same answer of 22,350 amps, or 22.35 Ka. We find this way to be much more intuitive. Per unit method here is typically what they show in books. It's a lot harder to follow. However, every now and then you do run into a problem that does make sense to use it. So the most important thing is be more or less familiar with both and whatever makes more sense to you, stick with that method, but be familiar with the other one in case a specific question asks for it. For some practice, I suggest playing around with these numbers. Use a different utility fault duty, different transformer values. Solve it by both methods. You'll know if you're doing it right, if you get the same value for your fault current and your fault power, your complex power as you did using the per unit method as the MVA method. Okay, that's it for this video. For more examples and to visit our premium review course, come see us at www.electricalpereview.com.